All right, it's time for me to get building and this is my project vehicle. And some of you might be thinking, I've seen that somewhere before. And you'd be right, the ting! Because I first met this chassis in Delhi, India, where I fitted two 500cc Royal Enfield engines right in there. I then drove it across the Rajasthan desert for Discovery Channel's TV show, Engine Addict. And I get asked an awful lot, what happens to those vehicles once the show is finished. Well, I packed up this one and sent it back to my workshop here in the UK. And since then, it's been back to Rage Motorsport in Luton and they have completely reworked this chassis. You see, the original chassis was kind of their standard model. And I'm gonna turn this into one hellish race going machine. So it needs to be a lot stronger. And they've completely reworked it and then powder coated it. So this thing is uber tonk and we need to take the power I'm going to put inside it because I'm about to build one serious bit of kit. Oh yeah. Okay, so there's three parts to this build. A bolt-on part, a modified part and a build part. I'm going to start on the underside of the vehicle and do the panelling. Now that's going to give me a nice flat underside which will give me great aerodynamics. It will also act as protection from rocks and stones flying up, which could damage the power pack or the people in the cockpit. That'd be me and that'd be bad. So I'm gonna start on the rear bit, which is the bolt on bit. And from that, I'm gonna take all my measurements going forward to make sure everything fits. It's time to crack out those tools. Here are the first two bits of panel. That's the new rear skid panel that will bolt straight on. And this is the old midsection that needs modifying. You can see they both sort of cover the same bit. So a bit of this needs cutting off. So it's just gonna go underneath the engine. Also, it's gonna need some holes drilling in it to give it a bit more ventilation. So the new power pack that goes in there doesn't overheat. So first of all, I'm gonna get that bolted on and I can see where that finishes, where this starts and then cut that and get that fitted on and cleaned up. Here we go. Okay, so I've test fitted the new bolt-on rear skid guard and the midsection, the engine guard. Now I no longer need this section of the engine guard because of the new rear skid guard and I've marked where this can be cut. Also, I've marked where some holes need drilling because the new engine is gonna run super hot because it's mega powerful and these are gonna add some more cooling. So now it's time to cut, drill, and this thing needs cleaning up because it's minging. Me and you, it's gonna work. This is the midsection of the underbody protection finish. This is the bit that protects mainly the engine. And I've added these holes for extra cooling. I want to bolt this on and the rear skid, that's half the vehicle protected underneath, creating a nice flat surface. And then I need to do the front half, which I'm going to do in a minute. But first, these two bits are getting fitted. <laughs> Okay, that's the first two panels fitted in place. The middle one has been modified with its new cooling holes and it's been cut down. That's all fitting on nicely now and the rear skid guard bolted straight in place. Now it's time to make the front guard and that's gonna be made out of five millimeter ABS. I've got a massive sheet of it in that cardboard there. I'm gonna get that out, cut it in half, slide half of it underneath, mark it all up and it's just a case of cutting, drilling until it fits 
and bolt straight on. Here we go.